As a street photographer, I personally think that finding your perfect camera bag that works for you is like one of the most important things. And of course, I went through several camera bags and I think I found a camera bag that is almost perfect for me. So today, I wanted to share this um, camera bag, which is National Geographic 3.2 liter shoulder bag. As you can see, this is considerably a very small camera bag. I mean, look at this. And that's the thing, like for me, like I like small cameras and I like small camera bags. But also, I kind of get greedy with my equipments and I want to take more equipments, but also carry less. And this camera bag was perfect for me. So now let's see what's inside this camera bag. Um, firstly, inside this pocket, um, I have my spare battery for my camera and then I open this bag and inside here I have a spare SD card just in case because you never want a failed SD card and not have a backup. So let's open this one and this is the inside. Um, Here's my Leica M6, just in case I want to shoot some films. Um, my lovely blower and a cloth. And also, I have my, oh shit, 17 millimeter uh, Lomography lens. 50 millimeter Zoomicron. 135 millimeter Hector and some films of course and uh, a shutter release cable and that's it well for me um this is like more than enough for my street photography as you can see this camera can carry a lot and guess what? Um, there are still some more spaces inside. And if I wanted to, I can put in my Ricoh GR3 in here, but usually I carry this in my pocket or even my speed light. But the thing is, um, never overcrowd your camera bag because like, it can break inside of the camera bag. Okay, apart from like being able to carry a lot of equipment, what I love about this camera bag is that I can easily access um, all my equipment with this bag. Like, let's see, if I want a battery, I can just open this up. And if I want other lenses, I can just open it up and pull out the lens that I need. And this quick access is very important as a street photographer because you don't want to be hassling around in your camera bag finding the right lens and everything and because you really don't want to like miss the moment. Another thing that you have to think about when you're out in the streets taking photos is the weather. Um, I would not call this camera bag waterproof but at least it's somewhat weatherproof because firstly um, this flap will protect your camera from like slight rain and also because it has like this and a zipper inside like this flat will also protect your camera from um, raindrops and again uh, I do not think that this camera is waterproof so um, please don't put this camera bag inside the water um, another thing that you should be careful with this camera bag is that yes, this camera bag does have some like cushioning inside 
but it's not super strong so please don't drop your camera bag from um, high places I'm pretty sure that your equipment will break I personally think as a street photographer finding your perfect camera bag is like finding the perfect couch for your nice home um, it's very difficult but it is there somewhere and it will make your life so much better but again it's difficult so sometimes you need to go through several couches to find your perfect one just like that I went through several camera bags and let me talk about some of them firstly this camera backpack from low pro I mean I still love this camera bag and I use it from time to time but um, for me at least it's not really for street photography um, it's big it's heavy I mean of course it's tough and very nice but um, also like the quick access is to be honest like for me it's not quick enough so as much as I love this camera bag I don't use this camera bag for street photography second one is this small tiny camera bag from chums um, this is actually a very fantastic camera bag and I still use it from time to time for like a very light street photography and surprisingly like it carry it can carry a lot of equipment like considering the size of this bag but a lot but not enough for me and also like it's just wide open so it doesn't have much protection from like rainy weather or anything so yeah I like this camera bag but I'm um, not as much as my new um, National Geographic uh, camera bag I wanted a bigger camera bag than this one so um, I looked for a bigger one from the same company Chums and found this camera bag um, and on the paper and on the photos um, this one looked perfect like it's much bigger um, and not humongous and it can carry a lot uh, but uh, I can't really say that I'm a huge fan of this bag because it's surprisingly quite bulky and like when I wear this camera bag like this like it wasn't really comfortable so like that's why I kept searching for um, a better camera bag for me and found this one coming back to this camera bag um, you know how like camera bags can be quite pricey well with this one you don't have to worry about it it's uh, the price is very affordable and it will definitely not break your bank Thank you very much. I hope this video helped you on your journey to find your perfect camera bag um, Please like subscribe and share until next time